Get out of here. Bye, Senpai. Woo, <laughs> gear type. Bye, Salty Drizzle. Ooh. <laughs> We've got four days until summer hits. Um, Isn't there a treasure thingy? No. Let's go explore a little bit. I've got the food. I've got a boat that's pretty pretty good. Could use a repair, but we got a repair kit right here. And we've got the gears. So I got 12 gears. I don't know if they're going to keep spawning in that same spot, but it doesn't matter because look right here. We've got a raft marking it. We can always check, but I think right now, and, and until they at least patch it or change it, I'm not sure if they'll patch or change the mechanic, but what just happened there, that's why I thought I knew something would be there, is you kill something in the ocean, like a jellyfish, a hound, uh, I guess if you could get a dogfish, probably have to hit with a spear gun, but whatever dies in the ocean, you come back... And then, like, three days later, there'll be floating boat nights, like, guarding the corpse, I guess. Same thing happens when you go kill, like, a whale. Because you killed it. There's a dead whale. So, there's usually just... It's like, they're just there. Why, I don't know, but that's how I understand the mechanic. And let's get on the land here. Let's not waste our boat torch during the night. Volks, do you like cat loafs? I'm not sure what you mean. What's a cat loaf? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I guess I'm not the only one who doesn't know what you're... What you're talking about. Let's put a campfire down and wear that seashell suit because there's mosquitoes everywhere. I'm not sure what you mean, man. Like nine hunger per each honey. That's not bad. Of course, that heals me. Uh, I'd like to go over there, but... Eh? Only three rocks. Can I store those? I can. Let's make a torch. Or actually, let's make a campfire. Let's make another torch. And it, I'm wearing the armor specifically so I don't get cheap-shotted. By one of those stupid fucking mosquitoes, man. This is all underwater. My wetness is going to get out of hand very quickly. So moist. So moist right now. I can't handle this. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We're not going to get much out of this. Let's go back before we hit the threshold and lose sanity. That wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> a little water never hurt anyone. Oh, it definitely did. At least in this game. Just wear that shovel. Happy holidays. Well, hey, Davos, how you doing? Thank you, and I hope New Year's. I hope you have a, a good New Year's. Hope you had a good Christmas, if that's your thing. Does that mean gears are completely renewable? Yes, Troll Ranger. If you play WX, WX, as of right now, is the most... The character isn't broken, but if you play him and you use this quote-unquote new mechanic, exploit, whatever you want to call it, he's the most overpowered. You can max your stats out. You can have a chest full of gears. You can bring a stack of gears with you, eat them, instantly heal, get sanity and hunger back, it's a non it doesn't doesn't expire it's a non-perishable food source it's pretty insane what's your youtube channel uh nomad it's down below there should be a picture with a, like a direct link if you click it that should get you to where you're looking or to get you what you're looking get you to what you're looking for let's eat the gumbo the sanity i'm saving that pirate hat i don't need to keep that pirate hat with me i don't know why i do that but whatever spear gun is like blow darts i think if you say that word again, the mushy ones will have to visit you and teach you how wrong you are. <laughs> what, W.S. Will Smith? I, I have no idea what we're talking about. Uh, please don't. You know, I really don't trust you. I'll get on that boat and you'll come flying after me. I, I, I know how you work. You'll probably do the same thing. You'll probably do the same thing. Get away from it! Three days left, guys. Three days left until summer's here. I'm not interested. Not interested. But, we have a little bit of time to explore. Let's do it. While we can. Because exploring is so, so very good. Considering the fact I found those gears, you never know what we're going to come across. Like another new island. I am very much interested in finding a bunch of monkeys. I know we have a handful here. Like two, yeah, there's only two or three there. There's like no monkeys so far. And making a monkey farm? Kill, kill them, hang up the morsels, use the bananas for banana pops, manure to fertilize crops. They're pretty insane right now, if you can get a hold of, like, enough of them. Wow. This is a motherfucking gold island now, isn't it? Um. What? Okay. Well. Oh, the, the, um. Oh, that's sad. The football helmet counts towards moisture reduction, wetness reduction, whatever we're calling it, rain. The crown doesn't. It makes sense. But that sucks. Please don't aggro. <laughs> Please don't aggro. 
to be tall bird. Well, I will I will go around this island. Let's scope it out. Let's scope it out. Oh my god, so cool. But I have no idea what we're talking about, but I will just scope this place out. There's tall birds here, tall bird eggs are excellent. If I could steal them, I could make oh my god, I can steal that right away, can't I? Oh, you can't take it when you're on the boat. Ah, That'd be an easy that'd be an easy grab and go though right there. So this will be on my map forever, obviously. Now we know how to make bacon and eggs really easily. Oh, speaking of that, that's something else I wanted to add to the other island. A crock pot. And I can make things over there if we get stuck over there for extended periods of time. Can I? Nope, nope, nope. I was going to go for that crab. <laughs> oh, rest in pieces, crab. Rest in pieces. Get rock lobstered. <laughs> oh, did I not edit that quote, Tim? Damn it. Let me fix that. That bugs me. It's the most recent one, yeah. Let me fix it. There we go. I don't like the way it adds like the, the brackets and the, the stupid stuff. Like it's it's a bunch of unnecessary. It looks it looks cluttered. Even though it tells you what game it happened in, it still looks dumb. So, there you go. Next time you get that quote it'll look a little more normal. I guess be the term. We're rolling with normal. A normal is a relative term anyway. Who cares? Alright, back on the boat. Free sandy. But now we know this island's here. Now we have a massive amount of gold available to us. Good. I have a stack at home, so that, that's fine. But knowing that... Knowing's half the battle, guys. Do you even G.I. Joe? <laughs> Let's just see what we got out here. Clearly a bunch of seaweed. Let's see what we got. Seaweed. I'm not even trying to make these puns. They just kind of write themselves. I still want to find the Yarktopus. If we can find the Yarktopus, that's basically going to determine where my real my real base is, my like quote unquote endgame base, or at least until we get another character. Hey, here's a swamp. So the, we might find the fisherman dudes. Or fisherman merms. Those are all the regular aggressive ones. We don't want to deal with those. That might be one. Yep, there's one. So they're they're passive and they fish for you. These guys obviously they're all douches and they try and kill you. Nobody likes these merms. You should get drunk in this video. You were just, like, suggesting all the most terrible things, aren't you? <laughs> Pokes does seaweed. Everybody in Shipwreck does seaweed. Now, this isn't a bad thing. I think what we'll do is we'll come back here during the calm season when there's not all this water slowing me down from the merms. Pick up those reeds, capture a bird, and we'll have all the eggs we can, we can deal with. We'll go kill a bunch of spooters, which reminds me I still want to do that. Feed the monster meat. Yes, incoming eggs, basically. That's that's good. That's very good. I like this. Ah, web balls. Um, did the merms attack? Hold on. You know what we can do is we can use the tall birds and stuff. I think. If we get if we get hound, hounds on the like the island, we can do this. We use spiders and everything to deal with them. Obviously, there's all this freaking water. I'm not interested in dealing with the sea hounds. They're the most overpowered because they can stun lock you in your boat and kill you. To the, it's just sad. I don't like that mechanic at all. And a lot of people have complained about it previously. But if we're going to have to be anywhere, I think being here is the best decision. Now, obviously, I'm going to get slowed down quite a bit. We can also just sit here and wait for hounds. Let's equip this so I don't get wet. And put a campfire down where there's not a lot of water. Now, the spiders are fighting snakes, which we can use to aggro things. I like this. There we go. Okay. And obviously I can still club them. I can still try and kill them. That mosquito is going to be a bit annoying. So we gotta wait for them. See if we can deal with them. Cat loaves are cats in the shape of loaf. Oh, okay. Well, I've seen like all the pictures on the internet. I know, you, I know exactly what you mean. I don't know if that's what you were referring to or if there was something else I was missing. Folks, have you heard about our Lord and Savior Mushy Mushy Sparkle Desu? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you guys. Let this break. Okay. Put this. Now, like the snake, anything that wants to try and kill these dudes is freaking great. I need an emergency torch on my person. I have to run. Might have to run. Might have to let him spawn and then run. I don't know. We'll see if the tall birds and snakes and stuff want to kill things for me. Let's try not to let our backpack get too soggy. They're here. They are here. 
Now I can tank quite a bit of damage, and I should be able to three hit them. It's part of the helmet and seashell combo, seashell suit combo. Talbert's attacking him. Good. Let's kite them into him. Oh, he was attacking him. I will kill you. Talbert is helping out. Thanks, Talbert. Talbirds are not 100% annoying. They're just mostly annoying. Good to go. Let's get back on that boat and get out of here. That went well. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse. Wait, didn't we just deal with hounds? That was fast. Eh. The end of the last stream, we dealt with the the sea hounds. That could have gone worse. Could have gone way worse. What they need is some seals you can club. <laughs> you can find balfins, and they'll help you out against sharks quite a bit. In fact, if I could find them, that would that would change things up a little bit, because we could lure the sea hounds there, let them kill each other, and just loot all the stuff. Like, I'm okay with this. Seafood gumbo, we can heal up, get some sanity back. Don't really need it right now, though. Tall birds versus hounds. Yep. Alright, where are we going? Summer is going to be here. Is there anything I really need to do before summer hits? Crockpot would not be a bad idea, but we have a couple free days in the very, very beginning of summer. Maybe we should just shut up and take advantage of the, the, the calmness right now, the relative calmness, and explore. We will have to turn on the boat lantern and use the bioluminescence. What I would love to do, though, or what we can do, but I'd have, I'd have to capture it. You can put a you can put bioluminescence down and then just use it. That's like a natural source of light. Let's turn the lantern on. Okay, this is yes, this is a lantern, not the boat torch. Here's a new island. Let's scope it out. Wetness is still a very serious concern. If I can find some dry land, I'll go with a campfire down. So the gumbo is going to fix the sanity problem, but until then, let's just keep moving. Hey, there's some doubloons. I don't have the inventory for it just yet, but nice to know. It's a weirdly shaped island. Do you need a thermal stone for summer? Ah, I did need that. I have all the rocks and I have a pickaxe we can use to make it. Thank you for reminding me. And we can also make another ice box and go put it on that island. That is a good idea. That, okay, so we still have two days after this one goes. We'll do that. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me there, Rhyme. What is my favorite part of Don't Starve? The fact that it's never boring, because it doesn't matter how long you've played, it doesn't really matter how good you are at the game, between just how naturally difficult it is and the randomness that's involved, you could die at any time. Something can go horribly, horribly wrong and screw you over. And just trying to overcome that, it just makes the game more enjoyable. Like when, Once you've played, like, for example, my Weber world, like 650 days or whatever. There, There's no real risk after that long because you can either have so many meat effigies or touchstones that dying is not that big of a concern. But then the game starts getting stale. But, that's, but you can also go build a hundred different things and make farms and grinders and have fun that way. But until that point, it keeps you very preoccupied. There's just so much to do. So much to worry about. Sanity is plummeting, but wetness finally, finally uh, let up. Uh, why don't we sail around and go home? Also, another boat repair kit is a great idea in case we have to go. We'll, like, top this boat off, make another one with some stingers. I think, I think we'll do that. Just exploring while I can. Come on, rain, let up. Killing my umbrella. I do not have much pigskin or silk. What is my favorite hour of the day? Shut up, Grizzle. <laughs> That's the easiest answer. <laughs> Stink rays. Let's just go right past you. The sail. That's something else I need to look at. That's get. That's letting out on me. I need to repair that. And get a new one anyway. Let me scope this island out. See if it has more monkeys. Does it have bamboo? Ooh, we can make a cloth sail. Okay. Can't believe you missed my pun. It was gold. Ah! I see what you did there. Oh, should make an FAQ for what? Oh, oh, hold on. We might be able to get a really good sword. Hold on. This might happen. Okay. I've got the armored boat, so it's like the... Okay, I probably screwed that up. Oh, no, he won't hit me. He'll hit me there. Might, this might kill him. Yes! That is the Cutlass Supreme! Cutlass Supreme hype! Let's put a crappy raft here. He will keep spawning here. 
I think every 15 seconds. That's good. Oh, I'm glad I explored. Let's head home for sure. Let's head home. We'll go home and we'll just make the sale. Hey, there's an isosceles triangle. Let's just make sure that's mapped. Okay, it's mapped. We're good. Nice. It's not that the Thule Sight Club isn't good, but the Cutlass Supreme is also really freaking strong. Strunk. And it's kind of, it's, it is renewable. You can get gold from the slot machine, so it is renewable. It's like two gold, a twig, and the swordfish? Maybe? Sex Paddle for the win. Yeah, Sex Paddle does damage. And by Sex Paddle, we mean the Thule Sight Club. Yarktopus! Oh, Yarktopus! Hey, buddy. I don't think he's here. Nope. I want to find the Yarktopus because we can just start giving him like recipes and stuff, get the balloons, get items. Really good. You should make an FAQ that people can be referred to when they ask questions. But oh, I, I, <laughs> I know what an FAQ is, but what's co what's coming up so frequently that people need to know? Just just curious. Like, is what's what's the question? Because if you give me some ideas, then I can make something. Oh, I thought that was a Yarktopus for a second. Hey, this is the set piece. Ah, oh, you bastard. You bastard. Uh, why don't you just die? Okay. You're kind of an annoyance. I mean, you really are an annoyance. Pick up the gears. Okay. There'll probably be a couple more here, but we don't even need the gears. We can always come back and deal with them. Right now, with the boat being as damaged as it is, and me having as much as I need to do with two days left, I'm just going home. Folks, am I streaming on Friday? I will try here. I can't guarantee it, but I'll try. The recent porn searches. That's an interesting thing to want to know about. You would be blind. Floaty boaties. <laughs> you would be blind if you saw that. Can you put your... <laughs> God. <laughs> First time here. Really enjoy your commentary and gameplay. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Artel. I'm glad you're enjoying it. and Welcome to the stream. Hope you have fun watching me die in summer. Because this, this will be the first time we've dealt with the meteors. Even though they're not supposed to be that bad anymore. But still. The paranoia. Well, I answer a lot of questions about where you or where you live, how old you are, where you work, when you stream, for how long, what your favorite games are, what your pets are, etc., etc. I guess I did answer a lot of that, though, in my YouTube FAQ, but I could probably do something down below in the, uh, the description here, like on the Twitch channel. Any idea can you, what can you do at the volcano on ship in, or shipwrecked? Nothing right now, but I think they have caves planned for that like they'll make that the caves of oh hello they'll make that the caves of shipwrecked i think i think i, I think that's what they're planning on doing so don't quote me but i, I think that's what's maybe about to happen right now nothing it, it's not in the game you can go look at the volcano it's pretty but it's about it by pods i mean mostly me <laughs> Newcomer here, but how did Volks get the Thule Slide and play Shipwreck in a while? Uh, that came up here, actually. There is a chest from one of those little X marks the spot things you find from the message in the bottles. And I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if they all have, in your world, I think there's like 12 or 15 of them. I don't know if they all have the same loot, but it just depends which one you find. But you find them in there. You can also get it from the slot machine pretty easily. Alright, we will need to get a machete, bring that over here, get the bamboo for the sail. Let's make the Cutlass Supreme before the Swordfish dies out. Also, I need to get some more logs. I got so much to do, man. Type faster then. Ooh. You tell him. You tell him, Megan. Mommy and Daddy are fighting. LOL! Everyone quote, folks. Gotta remember, there's like a one minute cooldown on that, so you can quote it as much as you want. But it won't always return to value. That's just to keep spam down. So I should already be able to... See. There it is! Cutlass Supreme! Nice. Nice. Well, I guess we'll use the rest of the Thule Sight Club for the moment. That's nice to have. Shouldn't go anywhere if I leave it here. I know, I know, I need chests. But right now, I, I'm focused on other things. Let's just uh, deal with the shit we got going on. There we go. I knew I had some of those. Eat that for the Sandy and the Hunger. Monster meat. Uh, you know, I guess I'll just make meatballs. I could do honey ham. Let's just do meatballs. Let's do the spicy meatballs. And then I also want to prototype the thermal stone. Thank you, thank you. That noise that makes the cutlass makes is awesome. Oh, like the little click. 
I, I can't really describe that noise. You'll hear it here soon. I know exactly what you make or what you mean. I think it's the same noise that the swordfish makes. It's similar. Cutlass Supreme sounds like a meal. Eh, I guess if you want to eat a sword. It doesn't really sound pleasant. Sounds pretty painful, but you can do what you want, man. Meatballs, gimme gimme. Okay, we can eat those right now. Let's, well, let's store them. Uh, I guess we'll start using the small jerky, but I kind of wanted to save it for uh, bacon and eggs. Let's just... I, the reason I do this, the reason I'm cooking up the seaweed, and I don't really know if this works, but when you put items in a crock pot, their durability affects the output of the durability of the item you get. So I, I just kind of feel like maybe you get more time out of it, whether or not that's correct, whatever. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Don't ignore me this time, please. What is my eye color? It is hazel. Purple. It is hazel. It is like greenish. I think we all know what hazel is. I'm not, I'm not even going to go in. I'm not even going to go into that one. <laughs> Let's make another ice box. So food, because we're going to put that up at our little, our little summer getaway base. Also a crock pot. What do I need? One cut stone, which I thought I already had, but I can make some cut stone. Okay. Do that. There we go. Crap. Just wear the armor. Just wear the armor now. And I want to make a crock pot. I should have a charcoal for that. Not wasting my logs. I don't have many logs right now. Where are you at, buddy? There you are, dingus. Why F to attack isn't working, I don't know, but there it goes. Took it a while. It took it a while. You do get more time out of it. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Talking about the crock pot recipes. Okay, that's what I figured. I, I have not confirmed, but if you're confirming, awesome. Doesn't even matter, as long as it works. Let's start eating the bacon eggs before they go too, too bad. I don't have much time on them. Would like to get more eggs from chopping some trees. We'll be here for the next few days. Crock pot. I should have six charcoal. That is six, and it's a couple cut stone if I recall. Right, how many cut stone? Three. We got this. Happy New Year. Oh, is it already 12 o'clock? <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> it's 11.42. It's coming up soon. Uh, you're going to sleep? All right, Pokemon. Take it easy, man. Glad you can make it to the stream, and hope you have a happy new year. Corgis. Talk about my doges. <laughs> That's right, Twitch has a corgi emote. That's epic. I forgot about that. How could I? How could I? All right, Crock-Pot hype. Um, Icebox hype. That'll help. This is all incredibly useful. Combine that. I will bring Niter over there. We will also want to make up a chest. I need to go chop trees anyway. Let's do it. Let's take the armor off and hope to god this dude doesn't come after me. You know what, I'll just kill you now, and then I'll put the armor on. Or take the armor off, I should say. Let's leave, uh, I guess maybe I'll leave the gears here. Yeah, we'll do that. Get some twigs and go chop some trees. Stupid flipping mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. <laughs> I love Godsworth. Mosquitoes. Get crung for New Year's. <laughs> What's that C underscore spawn gunpowder and then times 100? Just spam fun powder? One day until summer, but we should still be able to do things. Oh, a boat repair kit. I want to make one of those. Let's not forget. We have one. No, actually, I think we used it. Yeah, we used it. It is two stingers, two boards, and two rope. So I will bring a couple more things of grass. Let's make that right now mind that. Go chop some logs. We need some logs. Busy, 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 busy. <laughs> C underscore give. You can do that. I just do C underscore spawn and I put it to the side, but both of them work. Both of them work. Just gonna wear the armor. Screw poison snakes. Screw the mosquitoes. Just not even. 